Hello and welcome back everybody. Tonight we're going to use this IOPTRON RC6 telescope to photograph the far away needle galaxy, NGC 4565. Join me tonight to photograph this very distant galaxy and we're going to see how the setup goes with the ASI 2600 MC Pro and this IOPTRON RC6. My name's Trevor and you're watching Astro Pilot. So as I mentioned earlier, tonight we are going after the famous Needle Galaxy. I photographed this last year with my Xenostar 61 and DSLR and it is tiny in the field of view of that. With this telescope here, with an effective focal length of 2100 millimeters, this gets you an up close view of the edge-on spiral galaxy NGC 4565 known as the Needle Galaxy. So if you can see these right here, these are the 2 inch and 1 inch extension rings for the focuser and here's the tilt plate adapter, tilt focuser adapter here. Um, originally I had the back focus for this camera only with the 2 inch and 1 1 inch so with that I had to draw the focus tube way out to almost the end. And this focuser, I mean, it's a good quality focuser, but it's not your William Optics focuser that I was used to. Um, it has a lot of slop, a lot of play in it, and it's best to um, keep it as far in as possible. So I just have the, the extension rings that came with the camera pushed all the way into the draw tube and locked it down. And this has a tension and focus lock on it. And if, as long as you keep that tension really tight, it is a very nice focuser. And with this added extension ring, that gave me a little bit more weight, so I had to extend my counterweight bar. And I'll show you how I did this here. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with the setup now. I only have to extend the draw tube maybe about a, a three quarters of an inch to reach proper focus. So a nice solid imaging train going on right here now. So with my counterweights, before I added that extension ring, I was able to reach balance um, with both of these all the way at the end. This is one 11 pound and one seven and a half pound counterweight. What I did was got a M12 thread bolt. It's about three, four inches long. And I threaded it into where the, uh, the toe saver would go. And now I have a little bit more of an extension on the counterweight shaft and I can slide this weight all the way down to the bottom and move this weight to reach proper balance. And this setup here is actually better for the mount to have one mount, uh, one weight closer to the mount and one further away. It just, uh, um, I've read where due to just physics and the way the mount works, to have weight separated evenly across the counterweight shaft is actually better for proper balance and I do have this balance slightly east heavy to improve guiding um, but this little bolt is great for just a little bit of a counterweight extension if you need it so now I have good balance with this telescope with all the accessories so tonight I'm also going to be using the Astro Zap uh, dew shield here for the RC6 it just helps keep any stray light and dew or frost from forming near or around the secondary mirror um, especially in these humid cold nights um, with frost and all that stuff definitely if you're pointed more higher uh, towards the zenith it really helps out so we're just going to fit that right on there just like that and it makes the scope look even bigger so <laughs> so when i leave my telescope rig out for multiple days if it's going to be clear for multiple nights i like to keep it outside where i don't have to keep uh, breaking it down and setting up again um, one of the things I really like to do is use these Mylar bags. Um, before I was just using a Mylar survival blanket, but I picked up one of these 
84 inch by 36 inch Mylar survival bag. It's basically like a sleeping bag, um, but it's Mylar and it's really thin and it's really uh, pliable. So it works really well. It fits my rig just right and it keeps it uh, dry and out of the weather. And it also keeps it cool during the day because that Mylar technically is a space blanket and it reflects like 90% of the sunlight. So very efficient and cheap way of protecting your telescope um, for a, a long stay outside. So quick tip for that, only costs about five bucks. So great little investment to protect your telescope. I did gather some data on this target last night. So my mount is polar lined and ready to go as soon as I get back from work tonight at about 10.30. That time, the constellation Coma Berenices will be high enough in the sky to start imaging the Needle Galaxy. I plan on shooting three minute exposures at 100 gain with the ASI 2600 here, and I'd like to gather around three or so hours on this target. In the meantime, I will see you guys once it gets dark and I'm back from work. so I just got back home from work it's about 10:45 right now it is clear and we've uncovered the scope now all I have to do is take bias and flat frames and we can get imaging on the needle galaxy <music> guys so we we are all set and ready to go to slew to the needle galaxy our target for tonight so I am gonna go ahead and type in the needle galaxy on NGC 45 here uh, NGC 4565 on the ASI air I've already typed it in there it is and we're gonna go to and running on NGC 4565 the needle galaxy I'm running three minute exposures at 100 gain with the ASI 2600 my guiding is up and running as well going pretty good using three second subs on guiding with my DIY guide scope and numbers are looking not too bad averaging below one on total RMS error so uh, not not too bad at all so let's take a look at our actual data so here is the needle galaxy I'm getting ready to auto stretch it in three two one and look at that that is a edge on spiral galaxy located almost 50 million light years away technically this picture is 50 million years old the light left that galaxy 50 million years ago that is an amazing shot right there and I can't wait to see this final image so the needle galaxy is amazing see that dark dust lane going through the center there so this is like seeing the Milky Way edge on from 50 million light years away. So, super excited to see the final image of this once I collect enough data and process it. So, 
I'm going to keep on shooting and we're going to see how the rest of the night goes. So I'll catch you here in a bit. So everybody, I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and press that subscribe button down below. Give a like, give a comment. Really appreciate you guys. We're almost 1,500 subscribers strong right now and I really can't believe it. So stay tuned to the end of this video for the final image of the Needle Galaxy. And as always, thank you for watching Astro Pilot. And until next time, clear skies.